Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Today's topic is maximizing sales through the five senses. Did you know that not everyone who enters your store is going to spend money? It takes some time and hard work to get those individuals to become customers. I read in a very interesting article that there are two types of customers. The first group are called the finders. This group of customers walk into your store and know exactly what they need. If your store is clear, clean, and has good signage, they say the battle is likely already won. The issue is that it's difficult to upsell and the average spending amount is low. The second group is called the browsers. They are made up of casual shoppers. The browsers are a curious bunch and want to see what you have to offer. They are the hardest to sell to. But once you have gained their trust, they will definitely buy and the service that you are providing will be worth it. As retailers, you can create an environment that is catered to the finders. They're familiar with your store, and as the article tells us, they know what they want to buy before they step into your store. What's important is that you pay attention to the browsers. The idea is to get the browsers to buy. How do you do that? The answer is simple. As a retailer, you must focus on the five senses, sight, smell, sound, touch, and taste to attract the browser. You will see the positive effect that this will have on your store's bottom line. Let's start with sight. Eye-catching displays that delights customers, captivate your audience when they enter your store and as they walk through. Effective use of signage. No handwritten signs, please. Lighting affects mood. In a retail environment, customers need to see your product. Create adequate aisle space for customers to meander. Is it accessible? Housekeeping. Keep your store tidy and clean. Let's talk about smell. In your retail space, diffusers would be ideal. Place a diffuser at the entrance of your shop. Choose a favorite oil blend that you and your team enjoy. It will create a terrific first impression. What about sound? Studies have shown that fast music can make people move faster. Maybe not a good choice for your shop if you want people to take their time and look, but perhaps great for a coffee shop. Studies have also shown that by playing uplifting music, your customers feel great and buy more. The fourth sense is touch. When a customer is able to touch an item, hold it or try it on, they are more likely to buy it. Remember to display their product in a way that invites the customer to touch and take a closer look. If you are selling personal products, give people the option to touch and sample them before buying. Taste is the fifth and last sense. If you are selling food, taste is an incredibly powerful sales tool. Customers are hesitant to purchase a consumable if they are not given an opportunity to taste it. At Giftcraft, we provide the opportunity for our customers to taste and enjoy our Fortisse collection and Hint Mint products. As you can see, eye-catching displays and a tidy clean store will definitely catch the attention of the finder customer, who knows exactly what they're looking for. It's also important to note that you will need to drive impulse selling by capturing the attention of the customer who is the browser by focusing on the complete five senses experience. Give it a try. That's it for now. Until next time, happy displaying.